Hi there and welcome to MyCadSite.com. We're doing another exercise here showing the importance of absolute and relative coordinates. And if you look at the tutorial as far as experience goes, you're going to need experience in working with this type of input in almost every day of your CAD work. So what we're going to do is start by drawing the box on the left, top left side of the screen starting in an absolute point of 3 comma 3 and from there we go relative to that 1 in the X, 0 in the Y and the next line is going to be 3 units up so that's at 0 comma 3 coming back 1 unit it's going to be relative negative 1 negative 1 in the X axis and then finally C to close it. So we're going to draw the next box below it and it starts at a relative point of 2 comma 1 just looking at the dimensions based off of the origin and for this one we're going to go to the next point which is an absolute point of 6 comma 1 which is 4 units over and then we'll go to an absolute point one unit above that 6 comma 2 bring it back to the top left corner 2 comma 2 and back to our starting point of 2 comma 1 now the next object to draw is just a simple line and it's an angled line and we don't know what angle it is what the length is but we do know, know the starting point and the end point so we start the command and draw the first point in the top left corner 6.25 comma 4 and the second point is 8.932 comma 1.25 and end the command. So now we have a line with two absolute points at the start and end of it. Next we're going to draw a circle and this one should be at 8 comma 6 for the center point. So we enter that in and if you make a mistake, say if you put 8 comma 9 you can just escape out of the command, hit the escape key to start over. So just start the command again and in this case we'll put in the correct one of 8 comma 6 and it's asking for a diameter of 1 inch so we could enter in a radius of 0.5 or we can choose the option to enter in the diameter directly at 1 inch so we press D to select the diameter option and one and there's my circle with a one inch diameter at the correct point in the drawing and finally we'll draw the border around it's a ten inch by sorry ten unit by seven unit border and we're just once again entering absolute points third point is zero comma seven and finally C to close it out so get used to entering absolute relative points in your drawing and thanks for watching my cadsite.com